Hi, it's been a pleasure to have you back, Mr. Fernando. How you doing, sir? Hello, teacher. Very Hi, good. Hi, very good. Uh, that's nice. Hello, teacher. And, and you, teacher? Oh, pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. A little bit happy, <laughs> yes. With more energy than ever. <laughs> Yeah, teacher. Yeah, always. Not, <laughs> always, yes. No, not yeah. always. But today I feel with a lot of energy, even though it has been a tough day. A really hard day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? How's your day going? How's your day? Oh, always working from home. Always working from home? Ooh. Yeah, teacher. I know. We're going, I don't know from how, how much time we need to, uh, we're going to work from home, right? Maybe um, until June, that might be. Or August, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, teacher. That could a be. little yeah. more days. Yes, definitely. Hey, we have um, yeah. more people joining today's class. We do have Georgina, which is really new. Yes. We do have uh, Mr. Henry. Oh, no, no, no. It was Gabby. <laughs> yes. And uh, we do have uh, Marta. We do have Gabrielle back. That's amazing. That's great. Okay. That's good. Who else we have? Okay, yeah. We do have Georgina, Gabrielle. There you go. Hey, my man, Gabrielle. Welcome back, sir. It's been a pleasure to... See you once hey. again. Um, Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? Okay. Um, good? Uh, um, for me, uh, great. That's nice. Oh, you have, are you, you are wearing beard and mustache, right? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, you are not able to house. go to the, yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, only, very good. Only for computer. Yeah, My as job. Fernando, also Fernando's working from home. Mm -hmm, me too. There you go. Well, <laughs> hey, finally, uh, we can see Fernando. We miss you, Gabriel. Okay, hopefully you don't miss the classes. Yes, because as as day. always, we're going to play Kahoo at the end of this week. Okay. Ah, yeah, uh -huh. sure. and I know that you like it. I know that you like guys. I know the the guys that have been with me most of the time. We play Kahoo, right? It's a really nice game, and at the same time, we learned and we practice and we just make a review of everything that we have seen so far. So this is a really nice game, right? Isn't it? Yeah, right. Thank Very you. good. What about you? Hey, Christian. Hi. How Hello. you doing, sir? Hi. Hello. Nice yeah, to meet great. you. There you go. <laughs> Yesterday, I I couldn't, well, I didn't see you. But now, no. yes. Definitely. How's your day going, Christian? So far, is it good? Uh, yes. Um, I, I'm working at the camera. Really? Hey, yes. guys. Now we have a, a <laughs> body that works in the camera. Yeah. That's nice, right? Okay. Yeah, that's good. So we Where can. Go, yeah, that, yeah, that would be amazing. Hey, you you wrote my mind, Christian. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, okay. In two days will be good. We all included. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. It's nice to have you in your class. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And any questions, feel free to ask. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Moran. Hi, hi, how you doing, sir? Okay, I'm going to open my screen. Hello, can you see me? Yes, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. How's, it, how's the day going, Moran? You look tired today. <laughs> yes, right? Yeah. yeah I yes. know. Sometimes when we work from home, it's harder, right? We work more yes. hours, yes. Definitely. That's why we, we need English classes to have fun, right? And to learn. Not finished. Not finished in half. No, <laughs> never, never. You, you can do your work itself, but at the same time, there's a lot of things that you can do at home, right? And if you have kids, and if you have pets, whew, more work to do. 
Definitely. All righty. Thank you so much for joining the class, Moran. Claudita. Hi, girl. Hi. How you doing? I'm fine. Oh, that's nice. How was your work? Was good? Uh, Tired. Gang sao. Tired. Gang sao. Okay. Tired. Oh, but you work with animals. Tired. Tired. <laughs> I, I wish I could have your work and your job. That's amazing. No. No? Um, no, I. No, you no. don't? Oh, I thought you were with animals. No. Oh. But you were no, in a pet uh, shop, right? For, yes, ma'am. For la... ¿Cómo se dice? For la emergencia. Yeah, with emergency, yeah. For the emergency. Mm -hmm. For it. Oh, so you are not working right now? Yes. Ah, you Pero, are. Yeah, you are. You do. Pero solo la venta. Ah, okay. Only sales. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, but that's nice. You're working. That's amazing. Yeah. Ah, it's nice to have you class. Very good. Franklin. Uh, Hi. Teacher. How you doing? I'm fine. And you? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking, sir. It's been a pleasure that you have a, that you be in the class right now. Miss, <laughs> Mr. Charlie. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hi. Good night. How are you, sir? Uh, wake up. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> Ernesto. Hi, Ernesto. I think Ernesto is driving, but any chance that might be. Gabby, how are you? Hi, good night. Good night. Can we see your pretty Hi. face today? <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. <laughs> Just comb your hair, put some makeup on, enjoy the class, okay? Okay. I will okay. give you time. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Georgina, I want to see my new girl, Georgina. Hi, teacher. Hi. I want to see your pretty face. <laughs> no, I don't have a pretty face in this moment. <laughs> of course. Hi, guys, are you agree with me that all women are pretty? <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> Who said, hmm? Okay, Franklin, don't be, don't be like that way, okay? Of course we're pretty. <laughs> and we're unique, right? But no comments, Gabriel, please. <laughs> of course, Georgie. Welcome to this class, okay? It's been Thank a pleasure you. to have you here. Very good. Who else? Oh, Mr. Alex is right about joining the class. Alex, how are you? Hi, thanks. How are you doing? How Pretty are you? good. <laughs> Pretty good. With a lot of energy. Yes. Yes. Always. <laughs> no, not always. Yesterday was really hard for me because I was I was still feeling a little bit bad. And it's Monday, you know. So it's really hard uh, well, to start the week. But today is different. Well, uh, now more energy. It's not Monday. It's Tuesday. No, exactly. That's why <laughs> I have an extra energy. <laughs> That's the reason why. All righty. And I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hyper person as well. Okay, very good. Who's missing? Martita? Yes. Hi, Martita. Hi, hi, teacher. How you doing, girl? Pretty good. How you doing? How are you? Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Very nice? Yes. Okay, cool. That's nice. I'm so happy to have you here, guys. Okay. We're about to start, okay? And we're going to continue with our topic. Hey, what is your topic by any chance, Alex? Uh, we continue with the how often? Exactly. Exactly. Very good. Ah, that's my man. That's my man that always does his job. Okay, very good. Exactly. We continue with the question how often or how often? Um, Mr. Moran. You knew that I was about to ask you, right? <laughs> what does it mean, how often or how often? What does it mean? ¿Qué tan frecuente? Very good, exactly. We use that to ask how frequently you do something or something happens. 
To ask about that and to answer that question, we use our famous adverse of frequency. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Fernando, can you mention one adverse of frequency for me? Okay, usually. Very good. Claudita, another one. Um, me perdí. <laughs> can you provide me one example of other of frequency? Oh, always. Very good. Franklin. Sometimes. Very good. Um, Christian. Um, seldom. Very good. Excellent. Mr. Alex. Rarely. Rarely. Very good. <clears throat> Mr. Gabriel. Mm, uh, uh, no. That no. is a time expression, but it's not very frequently. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, don't worry. We're, we're about to see that. Don't worry about that. Mr. Moran. <laughs> Never. Help him, please. Never. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Ernesto. <laughs> What about you, Ernesto? Upper frequency? No. He's in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Moran, <laughs> another one, please. Sometimes. Very good. All righty. Um, Gabby, another upper frequency, please. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Very good. Uh, Georgie. No? Oh, no. You were not in yesterday's class, right? Okay, don't worry about that. Often. Oh, often. That, nice. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Often or often. Very good. And Christian, another one, please. Mm -hmm. Don't repeat it. Um, uh, um, for example, um, mm. every day? No. No. No, no. That is a time expression that is not an ah, average okay. frequency. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always. I'd already say it. No. Uh, um, <laughs> um, uh, every. No. 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 It starts with O, by the way. Uh, no, don't remember. Oh, come on. You <laughs> die now that you remember. All right. Help him, Franklin, please. Occasionally. Okay, that's great occasionally that's amazing okay. very good job you see okay there's a lot of adverse of frequency but yesterday we have seen the most common ones okay and we're going to remember um a key things that means like a uh, principal uh, points okay today why we're going to talk about positioning positioning of adverse of frequency when we're um, structuring uh, you can write it or you can talk about, but you need to be clear here in your mind where is the upper frequency located in a sentence, especially if we're using the verb to be and another type of verbs like do, go, have, etc. Or if we're using negative ones like don't or doesn't. Okay, it's really important. It's really important where we need to put the average of frequency when we're using negative ways, like don't and doesn't, when we are using verb to be, or we were using another type of verbs. Do you remember that we have seen that a little bit yesterday? But I told you that we're going to learn more deeply today. Okay, so <laughs> and Claudita loves grammar. I know that she does right and hopefully you do you're going to love grammar with me right christian I'm not yeah i'm not right. come on yes you will love grammar okay i know the grammar uh, yes most of you don't love grammar okay i know that but i told you that you're going to love grammar with me because i love grammar <laughs> and grammar is really basic because once you have the structure here in your mind you will start thinking in the language that you're learning. In this case, it's going to be English. But if you don't have the structure here, you will always continue thinking in Spanish. Okay. And that's not good. 
okay? Because sometimes we make a big mistake that we're like trying to translate for English to Spanish and vice versa, and that's wrong. So that's why it's really important grammar, okay? Okay. Okay, Claudita. I love grammar. <laughs> I know that you love it, and you will love it with me. Right, Moran? Right. Right. <laughs> okay, very good. Let's start. Okay, let me show you something that I have here. Okay, and once you can see it, just let me know. Okay. Allow me just a couple of minutes when I uh, share my computer with you. Oof, there you go. Let me know as soon as you're able to see my screen. Okay, cool. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Yes. There you go. So we have like a little uh, recap of what we have seen yesterday, but uh, we're going to focus more in the positioning of the adverbs in the sentence. Okay? All righty. Okay, guys. First of all, if you're using any type of verb, don't think about verb to be. I'm going to talk about another verb like do, have, etc. Okay? Can you please be so kind to read for me, Mr. Moran, what it says here after the topic, below the topic, please? Okay. The position of the adverb in a sentence. Very good. An, an adverb of frequency goes before a main verb, except with to be. Very good. Okay. The, the adverb of frequency goes before the main verb. And we have an example here. For example, in this particular sentence, I always remember to do my homework, right guys? What is the verb here in this sentence, Alex? I always remember to do my homework. What is the main verb here? Remember. Remember, very good. So if this is the main verb and we need yes. and we're going to follow the formula, subject plus adverb plus main verb. We see, you can see that always, it is before, before the main verb, the main verb. which in this case is remember, or you can say remember, okay? If you would like to sound more like a British one. Okay, cool. Can you please read for me the second sentence, Mr. Gabriel? Sure. Um, he normally gets good marks in exam. Very good. He normally gets good marks in exams. That means that he normally gets a very good grade. Okay, tell me, in this particular sentence, um, Alex, no, no, I will leave you alone, Alex. Don't worry about that. Franklin, <laughs> Mr. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yes. Could you please be so kind to let me know what is the main verb in the second sentence? He normally gets good marks. What is the verb here? Verb is get. Gets, exactly. Well, actually the verb is get, right? Get is like a take or have. But why is S? Because I'm talking about? Third person. E, exactly, Alex, third person. So I need to add the S to transform the verb into a third person, okay? This is something that we already have seen. But I always focus that because you always need to make sure that you the verb corresponds with the subject, okay? This is really important. So that's why I make a quick refresh just for you to notice about that. So you can see, guys, we have remember and we have gets. So here we have a different verb and the adverb of frequency, it is before the verb. Okay, cool. Now, what happened with the verb to be? Who can tell me what is the verb to be? Go ahead, Fernando. The verb to be. Verb to be, yes. I R is. Very good. Am um, is are. Very good. Christian. Okay. For he, she, it. Should I use am, um, is, or are? Uh, repeat the question, please. For the subject, he or the pronoun, he, she, yeah. it. 
Should I use am, is, or are? Is. Very good. Because we're talking about third person singular. Third person. Very good. Okay. Mr. Uh, no, Georgie. Georgie, what, what happened with we, you, and they? What is the correspond word to be for those subjects or pronouns? Are. Very good. Exactly. And for I? Um. Am. Am. Um. Very good. Exactly. And you already know the contraction wave, okay? Exactly. So, guys, if we're using the verb to be, this change. Can you please read for me, Fernando, the second sentence? This one, please. Okay. An adverb of frequency goes after the verb to be. Exactly. The adverb of frequency goes after the verb to be, guys. And we have an example here. Can you please read for me the first example? Um, Claudia. Um, they are never pleased to see me. Exactly. Very good. They are never pleased to see me. Okay, guys. Can you see that? We have subject. We have the verb to be. And then we have the adverb frequency. This is really important. Depends on what type of verb you're using. The adverb frequency could go after the verb or before the verb. Okay? This is really important. Okay. Let's talk about the, the other sentence. Um, Nadia. Hello. Hello. Can you please read for me the second sentence? She usually, she is, oh, sorry, she, she isn't. She isn't usually bad tempered. Exactly. She isn't usually bad tempered. Okay, very good. You see, we have is here, but in a negative way. So goes after the verb. In the verb to be, if you're using a positive sentence or if you're using a negative sentence, doesn't matter. The adverb frequency goes after the verb to be. Is that, is that clear? Yes. Yes? Any questions so far? Oh, like a water or chara, yes. Water or chara. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> Is everybody agree with Claudie? <laughs> All right. Come on, Claudie. Don't be so mean. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, guys, but we have a lot of verbs, right? We have, for example, another ones, another auxiliaries, uh, such as have, will, might, could, would, and can. Okay, so in that case, the adverb of frequency will be in the middle. In the middle of what? In the middle of the auxiliary and the main verb. And we have an example here. She can sometimes beat me in a race. Okay, we have the auxiliary can. And we have the main verb, beat. Okay? Can you see that? Can you see it, guys? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, can you see? So, you see the, the positioning of the other frequency? It is in the middle. So, if we're using an auxiliary verb, like a have, like a will, like must, could, etc. And then we use the, the, the main verb. The adverb frequency will go in the middle, okay? That's why it's really important to, to know where we're going to put it. Depends on what we are saying or what would you like to say. Take a look at the second example. I would rarely ever be unkind to someone. Guys, in this second sentence, which one is the auxiliary verb? Can you please let me know, uh, Gabriel? In the second okay. sentence, I would hardly okay. ever be unkind to someone. I would hardly ever be unkind to someone. Okay, in that particular sentence, could you please let me know which word is the auxiliary verb? Uh, would. 
Exactly. Very good job. Yeah. What about what about the main verb? What is it? Is B. Exactly. Very good. So you see, we follow the formula. Hardly ever is the other frequency and goes in the middle. Okay. Yes. Any questions? No. No. Okay. Take a look because we're going to do a memory game. Okay. And finally, guys, there are some um, adverbs of frequency that it can start a sentence. Like, for example, we can put usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, and occasionally. These verbs, they can go at the beginning of the sentence. Okay? But take a look something. Take a look. Occasionally, I like to eat Thai food. What is different? If I put an adverb of frequency, usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, or occasionally, only those, okay? Only those adverbs of frequency are the ones allowed to be at the beginning of a sentence. You cannot use other ones. No. The other ones follow the rules that we have seen. If we use one of these hours of frequency at the beginning of the sentence, have you noticed something different? Take a look at the sentence. Who can answer for me? ¿Han notado algo diferente si yo pongo el adverb frequency al principio de la oración? ¿Qué hay de diferente en esa oración? What's different? Vamos a ver si son buenos observadores. ¿Se ¿Mm? terminan con el ley? Eh, no. ¿El adverbio? Eh, no. Um, the, the sentence is always the first person. Uh, no. No. Mm -mm. Always in present. Definitely, yes, it's in present, but no. Charlie, any idea? Come on. I will I will fall asleep right now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Sorry seems to be the hardest work. Come on. My battery laptop. Uh, Your laptop battery. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who can save this class? Come on. Alex. Come on. What is the difference? <gasps> no, that is um, so, that is obvious. Come on, guys. Maybe, maybe, uh, I think. Uh huh. Uh, Gabriel? I don't, rem I don't remember what is the rule there, but um, in this case, use I like. I don't know if no. 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 Okay. Okay. Let me give you the answer. Okay. Take a look at the sentence. Occasionally, coma. I like to eat Thai food. What's the difference? That if we would like to put an adverb of frequency uh, at the beginning of a sentence, I know, I know. we separate mm. by coma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew it. Knew it, but it didn't come up. It didn't come up. Come on, you see, guys, this is really important. Only these adverbs of frequency are allowed to be at the beginning of a sentence, usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, and occasionally. That's it. Don't put always at the beginning, okay? That's not good, okay. All right. Uh, are we agreed to do a memory in game? Spanish. Yes, right? In the Spanish? No. Please. Who said that? Claudi. Yes. Okay. Okay. Solamente, usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, 
And occasionally, son los adverbs of frequency que usted puede poner al principio de la oración. Que también pueden ir ahí. No me voy a poner always, porque ese, ese no va allí. Okay. Ni normally, porque tampoco va allí. Ah, bueno, normally sí se puede. Eh, pero never say. tampoco. Never. <laughs> Ajá, no. Y si lo pone al principio de la oración, por favor, póngale una coma antes de empezar a escribir lo demás. Porque si usted no me le pone la coma, aunque todo esté bien y le pone un puntito al final de la oración, for me, it's wrong. Para mí está mal escrito. Ay, esta teacher es cosa seria. Sí, sí, porque con, a mí, no, me, no me interesa Drama. que escriba mal español, pero inglés sí. Yo les dije, I'm going to be tough. ¿Ja? Ok, ¿qué les parece si hacemos un juego de memoria? ¿Sale, vale? Great. Oh. Yay! Hey, welcome back. All right. Who's going to be the big thing? I'm sorry, who's going to be the participant here? Uh, Charlie Brown. Hey, Charlie. Mr. Charlie Brown. Hey, Mr. Charlie Brown. Where's Snoopy, by the way? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Um, yeah. If I'm using a bird to be, the other frequency goes before the bird to be or after the bird to be? After the bird to be. Very good. Can I have an example, Moran? Okay. I always eat. No, can I have an example with the verb to be? Ah, ah, okay. Yes, okay. definitely. Uh, okay. Charlie, the, yeah. the, the, the other frequency goes before or after the verb to be? Uh, after. Okay, thank you. Yes, after the verb to be. Okay, there you go, Moran. Mm, they, they are... They are very good. Okay, continue. They, you can do it. They are always uh -huh. go. They are always very oh, good. Babish. They are always what? They are always go, go for the beach. Are you sure? I don't they know. are always go for the beach. They are always good. We're good so far. But use another sentence after always, please. Uh, they they are always go. Are you sure that go with no? Because you are using already are. That is a bird to be. They are always what? You cannot use two type of birds. Unless if it's as auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They are always. They are always eat. They are. They are always sleep. They are always sleep. Very good. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good job. Oof! Something is smelling, burning. It was Moran's brain. Okay, that's good, Moran. Okay. Alex, can yes. you please let me know what are the five hours of frequency that can be put at the beginning of a sentence? Um, usually, okay. normally, okay. often, okay. occasionally, uh -huh. sometimes, uh -huh. frequently. Very good. All right. Can I have a sentence, Franklin? <coughs> With occasionally. I help you. <laughs> always. Oh, always, okay. Always. Okay. Can't. Okay. Now, occasionally. Occasionally. At the beginning of the sentence, please. Yeah, I not ask you. Yes. <laughs> ah, yes. Mm. Uh, I, I know. Uh -huh. Occasionally, <laughs> yes. I occasionally study in, in the house. Okay, occasionally I study in the house. 
Very good. Excellent job. All right, let's continue. Let me show you some examples here. Uh, oh, one more example. Thank you, Christian, for participating. Very good. <laughs> Oops, sorry, <laughs> but you need to be at, ah, very careful because I will always ask you like randomly, okay? Okay, okay. can I have a sentence with um, frequently? Frequently. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. Um, um, mm. uh, start the sentence. Ah, doesn't matter. Oh, whatever. Yes. Okay, I. Hey. Um, oh, the baby girl, frankly. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, for example, my, my brother frequently um, cook in his house. Okay, almost perfect, Christian. Almost perfect. But my brother, it is he? Yes. Okay, so it's, it's a first, second, or third person singular? Uh, third person. Okay, so you said my brother always cook, you said. But is that oh, okay? Okay, okay. Uh-huh. My, my brother always cooks. Very good in his house exactly that now it's perfect okay. exactly okay. never forget that if you're talking about my brother you need to like always put them the main verb corresponding to the subject excellent job very good job okay let's continue let me show you some screen right now for me guys there you go you're going to love this one because this one is really really nice and do me a favor in the meantime when i'm trying to open it i just want guys to take a little piece of paper and um also um a pen or pencil okay all right very good i'm going to share right now my screen and then we're going to continue can you see it guys yes Yes. Yes, cool. Okay, guys. So, we're like, this is like a recap right now. Okay, hours of frequency. We use hours of frequency to say how often we do things. All right. You see? We have an example here. How often we frequently do. Okay, tell me, Fernando, how often do you brush your teeth? Cada cuando te lavas los dientes. Be honest, okay? Okay, day teacher. Okay, use the hours of frequency. Use it. Usually. Uh, no, make the sentence, please. Make a big sentence, a whole sentence. Okay. I. Uh, I. I always. Okay. Brush my teeth. Very good. I always brush my teeth. Very good. <clears throat> Franklin, tell me the truth. How often does your mom cook? Or does your, uh, sorry, wife cook? She always cook. Very good. She always cook or she always cooks? She always cooks. Very good. Um, Alex. Yes? Tell me something. How often is Moran late for class? <laughs> <laughs> He's never late for class. Ah, very good job. <laughs> Moran, do you have a, ra a really nice classmate? <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. Are you sure, Alex? <laughs> yes. Mm. <He> always... <laughs> I have my doubts. He's the first. <laughs> he always, always is the first. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys, this is like a recap, as you can see, but we have seen. I'm not going to, to pay attention on this because definitely this is something that we already have seen. Okay. This is something that I want to show you. Can you see it? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. This is really important. Um, the main verb, do, right? What is, that? what is the negative way for do, guys? Don't. 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 What about the negative way for does? 
Doesn't. 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 doesn't exactly remember that we use does or doesn't for third person singular which means he she and it okay so if we have guys do or don't we put the other of frequency after the negative of this auxiliary and before the main verb and we have an example here we don't usually trouble okay if we have these auxiliaries, the other frequency will be in the middle between the auxiliary in the negative way and the main verb. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. Yes? This is really important. Okay, guys. And what we were talking about, sometimes, often, and usually, you can put it at the beginning of the sentence. You can put it also at the end of the sentence, okay? So with these verbs, you can, uh, you can play with them. Only with the ones that Alex mentioned, okay? You can put at the beginning of the sentence, you can put in the middle, or you can put at the end. Which ones are they, Alex? Usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes and occasionally. Very good, oh my God. Yes, sir, you have a really great memory. Okay. <laughs> okay, really guys. Bad, but... uh, okay, Gabriel and Moran, uh, Georgie, Nadia. Okay, these guys, you can use this time of expressions also with the address of frequency. Okay, Gabriel, this is what we, you have said at the beginning of the class. Every day, once a month, twice a month, three times a month, etc. This is a type of expression that we can perfectly use, okay? Mm -hmm. to, to give more information about how often you do each of activity. And also, you, honeys, you can put um, in the morning, at night, on Sundays, etc. Okay. Okay, guys, this is your practice. I will give you five minutes. We have eight sentences. Okay, and the ones that are in red color are the main verbs. And you can see that others of frequency are in parentheses. Can you see that? Okay. Yes. Yes? Okay, for the first one we have often, for the second one usually, for the third one also we have often, for the fourth we have sometimes, we have number five always, six usually, Seven, never, and eight, seldom. Remember, remember, guys, just to give you an idea, let me go back a little bit. Okay? This is a percentage, okay? Always means 100%. Frequently, 90. Usually, 80. And so on, okay? And never means zero, okay? Rarely, 10%, and seldom, 20%. Okay, now guys, this is what I want you to do. Okay, I just want you to write it down for me, the sentence, once again, by using the other frequency in the correct position of the sentence. Okay? I will give you five minutes counting now. There you go. Háganlo ahorita, por favor. Use a piece of paper. Or if you have word, you can write it down on word. That's okay for me. Oops, sorry. Let me move. Much better? Yeah. Any question? Can you see it, Georgie? Can you see it? Nadia, can you see it, Gabby? Yes. Yes? Martita? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Five minutes, okay? We already have one minute left, so that means I still having four minutes to finish. Franklin, what a face you have. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> 
No worry. It's it's fine. Four minutes. No, I mean three minutes. <laughs> Two minutes. Mm. Okay. Did you, did you finish? No. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I will be patient. Don't worry about that. Just remember the rules, guys. The three positions that we have seen. One minute. Finish. Okay, good. Thank you. Peter. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay, Georgie. Hi. Hi. The first question, the first sentence is we are in contact with my sister and we have the upper frequency often. How you're going to say exactly the same sentence but you shouldn't using the upper frequency. Can you please give it to me? I think is we are in no, we are often in contact with my sister. Very good job. Who's agree with her? I'm. I. Very good. Very good, Georgie. Great job. Excellent. Uh, number two, Gabby. Um, Peter doesn't usually get up before seven. Very good. Are you agree, guys? Yes? Yes. Yes. Excellent Great. job. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. Nadia, what about number three? Our, our friends must often write this. All right. Who's agree with her? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good job, Nadia. Number yeah. five, Claudie. Um, oh. 
four. Oh, sorry, number four. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> there you go. Number four. He told you like, <laughs> okay. They, they sometimes go swimming in the lake. Very good. If there's another possibility. Sometimes they go swimming in the lake. Very good job. And if I put it sometimes, what I need to put, Alex? Comma. Oh, exactly. Comma. Very good job. And, and there's another possibility? At the end of the sentence. Ah, very good. Georgie, right? Gabriela. Oh, Gabby, may I apologize. Okay, Gabby, can you please say it for me? They go swimming in the lake sometimes. Very good job. Excellent. That is one of the adverbs of frequency that you can play with it. Excellent job. Very good. What about number six, Christian? Number five. Oh, five. sorry, number five. Teacher, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Thank okay. you, Alex. Go ahead. Okay, the... The weather is always bad in November. Excellent job. Very good job. Mr. Fernando and his rincon. Okay. Uh, now, yes. Number six. <laughs> okay. Peggy and Frank usually are late. Usually are late. Oh, okay. Uh, is everybody agree? No. 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 Fernando, do you remember <laughs> adverb of frequency is where you see verb to be? When this okay. is R, it goes before the verb to be or after the verb to be? Uh, the same thing is affirmative are usually lay. Aha. Uh -huh. Peggy and Frank are usually lay. Are usually a very good job, exactly. Very good, Fernando. The other frequency goes after the bird to be. Very good job. And number seven, Mr. Moran. I have never met him before. Very good. Okay. I have I had never met him before. Very good job. Uh, Alex, the last one. John Sultan watch TV. Very uh, can you please say it again? John Sultan watch TV. Okay. Watches TV. Oh, okay, thank you. Very good. Uh-huh. You see, I'm you see, eight years in a call center, my man, is not enough. You <laughs> cannot imagine how uh, my listening skill is really developed. Yes. Uh, I agree. Yes, like, hmm, okay. Yes, eight years, can you imagine? And I almost death as well. Casi estoy sorda por eso. All right, very good. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, excellent job. Okay, let me show you another one. Excellent job, guys. Good job. You have a study a lot. I'm proud of my babies. Very good job. Okay, let me open it. It's, okay, let's continue practicing. Okay. Albers of frequency, always, sometimes, usually, never. All right, take a look at this sentence, guys. In this, act, in this um, photo, what is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? What is she doing? She's playing tennis. Very good. Okay, take a look at the schedule for Monday to Sunday. Tell me, how often does she play tennis? She, she always, she always, she always, play, she always, always plays. Let me double plays check games. if you're right. Let me check. <laughs> Yay! You're right. She always <laughs> plays tennis. Don't forget the third person. Okay? Excellent. Oh, let's continue. What about she? Tell me, where is she? Don't say yet. Where is she? In the cafeteria. Cafeteria. The the food court. Food court. Food cafeteria. I I see childrens and I see backups. Backups. Uh, school. 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 Ex excellent job, Gabriel. Okay, so tell me, uh, exactly, she's in the cafeteria, right? It was cool. So, but does she eat there the whole week? No. Monday to Friday. Only from Monday to Friday, so we can say always. No. No. Usually? Usually. Occasionally? 
Occasionally. Might be. Occasionally. Usually. Occasionally. Usually. Okay, let me double check. Hey, very good. She usually eats at school. Third person. At school. At school. Very good job. Let's continue. What about them? What are they doing? They are reading. They're reading. Okay, they're reading a book. Exactly. Uh, are they reading a book the whole week? No. Some some days, right? Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. like month. How many times a week? Four, four times. Four. Four. Four days. Which is specific days? Monday, Monday Thursday, Friday, 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 Sunday. Sunday. Very good Sunday. job. So, which other frequency you're going to use? Often. No. Often. Often. Occasionally. Occasionally. Usually. Another one. Something. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Um, maybe. Yeah. Let's double check. Yay! Sometimes. Very good. They sometimes read a book or no, read books, right? Why read? Because we're not using third person. We're using plural. Okay? So when I see a third person, when I see a reads. Read. It says they read. Very good. Let's continue. What about him? What is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? ¿O qué no está haciendo? Drive. Driving. Driving what? Driving. A truck, a motorcycle, a car, what? A car. A car. Very good. Okay, so, ¿qué tanto él maneja el carro? Never. 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 <laughs> That's easy, right? Never. Never. Let's double check. Okay, who can make the sentence? He never drives. I never drive. No, no, no. No, I. Estamos hablando de él. He never drives. Hey, thank you, Moran. That's what I want to hear. Drives. Excellent. Give me double five, my man. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let me double check. Yeah. He mm -hmm. never drive a car. Oh, I never drive a car in this case, right? Pero si hubiera sido he, he never drives a car. Very good job. And last but not least, <laughs> we. Oh, they're having so much fun right now. I wish I could be a dog. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. So what are they doing, guys? Swimming. 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 Oh my God, that's nice, right? I think they're always Labrador, right? They're Labrador, right? Or Golden Retriever, I think so. Okay, what are they doing? Swimming, okay. Every day? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we have day? We? We, right? We. Okay, give me a sentence, please. Let's pretend that you are a dog. We always swim. We always swim. Very good. Yay. Excellent job, my man. Okay. ¿Qué les pareció este? La chiva, right? You see, practice makes perfection. If you practice, you will remember. Okay? So you see, we have now you know. How to answer when they ask you, how often do you? Depends on what you have to say, which part you're going to use. You can put the average of frequency at the beginning of the sentence and the middle or at the end. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's practice. Let me ask you something. Gabriel, how often do you eat breakfast at home? Uh, I... Um, Tell me the truth. <laughs> I usually okay. eat my breakfast on okay. weekdays. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Weekdays. That means weekdays. Weekdays. Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Thursday, or Friday. Um, for this example. <laughs> uh -huh. For this example, yes. But there's another way to say weekdays. Hay otra manera de decir weekdays. días de semana. Yes. Weekdays. From Monday? Uh, to Friday. Uh, from Monday to Friday, yes. Very good. And uh, Fernando, tell Why me the truth. Hi. How often do you sleep? Uh, always, teacher. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Christian, how often do you drink Coca-Cola or Coke? Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, that was a tough question. 
<laughs> I usually drink Coca-Cola. Okay, very good. Hey, Alex, how often do you eat carne asada? Uh, I, well, I always. Uh, he said, I always. Said, oh my God. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Claudita, <laughs> how yes. often do you. Um, do you play with your dog? Oh. You have a dog. Oh. oh. Every day, always. Uh, always, very good. Georgie. Yes. How often do you go to the cine? Or to the cinema, or to the movie theater? I rarely. Rarely? Yeah. Oh, that's so bad. And nowadays, it's really hard, right? So, we don't know <laughs> yes. when. Okay, how often do you watch Netflix? Um, I... I tell always. me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it, right, Fernando? We knew it. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Moran. Yeah. How often do you navigate through the internet? I always uh -huh. navigate on I, the internet. I knew it on the internet. Okay, very good, uh, Nadia. How often do you? Um, chat with your friends. Mm. Tell us the truth. Occasionally. Occasionally? Okay. I uh, make the the whole sentence, please. Occasionally, I chat with my friends. Okay, very good. Uh, Gabby. Yes. Uh huh. How often, um, do you iron your hair? Um, yes, right okay. now. <gasps> right now, uh, that's what you're doing? I, <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. Never. No. Why? We look so nice. <laughs> Thank you. But this yes. for for quarantine time. Ah, but, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, in normally time, I... What do you say? The iron? Iron? Uh, uh, I um, usually iron my hair. Oh, that's nice. Iron, guys, significa planchar el pelo. Iron my hair, okay? Iron es la planta. When you say iron your hair, significa plancharse el cabello. No con la plancha. No con una plancha para cabello. <laughs> Just in case, okay? I'll let you know. Tam, ta, hay chicos que se planchan el pelo. Uh, yes. Yes. They're fancy. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys. You see, time passed so fast. Wow. It is 10.03. So I know that you love me. I love you too. But it's time to say goodbye. Um, okay. Yeah, okay, yay. I hope you enjoyed today's class. I hope you have learned a lot. Hopefully, I'm trying to put it as simple as possible and try to make fun so you like fall asleep with me, right? Because sometimes Moran wants to fall asleep. I know. Thank you so much for being in the class. I know that some, some of you have been a really hard day. A lot of work to do. You're physically, you're mentally tired, maybe. Like Mr. Moran, you cannot imagine you want to face class right now. Or Claudita, or Mr. Gabriel, right? Or Fernando, that he works a lot. Christian, yeah, Georgie, Nadia, I know. Thank you so much for your commitment, guys. And thank you for being in today's class. Okay? Okay. And hopefully okay. we can see you. Tomorrow, please study. Any questions? I'm here. Now with today's uh, class, you will be able to finish the platform exercises. Okay? Because somebody says, oh my God, I have tried one, two, three, four times, and I cannot finish this sentence. Why? 
is because you were missing today's class. Okay, now with today's class, you will be able to finish. Okay, okay. any questions? I'm here. It was nice to see you once again. Hopefully, I can see Nadia, Martita, Georgina, and Gavi next time, okay? Okay. And you can iron your hair, of course. <gasps> yes. <laughs> okay. <I will. laughs> okay. And also Mr. Americo and Mr. Charlie. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay guys. Love you. Hugs and kisses. Sweet dreams. And see you tomorrow. Okay? Tomorrow. All right. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.